You're watching ESC News. Thank you for joining us. The Deputy Commander-in-Chief of the Royal Cambodian Armed Forces and the Commander of the Royal Cambodian Army, Lieutenant General Holman Knight, met with the Ambassador of the Republic of France in Cambodia, Jacques Palais, at the headquarters of the Royal Cambodian Armed Forces on Tuesday afternoon. ESC News reporter Anthony Ellis has more details. During the meeting, Lieutenant General Hun Manet mentioned the long-standing friendship between the two countries, who have so far enjoyed good cooperation in all fields. On behalf of the Cambodian people, Lieutenant General Hun Manet thanked the French Republic for its past assistance to Cambodia on many important tasks, such as the national unification of Cambodia through France's role and co-chair of Paris's conference, the development of peacekeeping forces to Cambodia, the provision of development assistance for, and scholarships for Cambodian students, aiding legal development, including providing funding for Khmer Rouge Tribunal, supporting the incorporation of Prevahir Temple as the World Heritage Site, providing funding for the COVID-19 research project, as well as supporting Cambodia's role in the 2022 ASEAN Chair and the Prime Minister's efforts to find peaceful solution ongoing conflict in Myanmar. As for military cooperation, Lieutenant General Manette also noticed a strong bilateral cooperation manifests through various agreements and both of the level of the government and the level of the Ministry of National Defence. Through these bases, many cooperation activities were implemented, including disaster and docking exercises, military assistance and human resources training and military skills, peacekeeping operations and the French language, especially support for activity military academies and the National Centre for Peacekeeping Forces Management and clearance of mines and explosive rendements of war. In response, Ambassador Jacques Palais expressed his pride and historical relationship between Cambodia and France, especially in 2022, which marks the 70th anniversary in diplomatic relations between the two countries and the 30th anniversary of the French peacekeeping operations in Cambodia. The ambassador noted that Cambodia is a country that has been bitter history of victim of chronic war, but now Cambodia has highly capable army that is experienced in peacekeeping, has proficiency in the French language and has been on the duty in many countries in the world. The ambassador said that there was the most proud it has been 19% of the Cambodian Blue Helmet troops are women, exceeding the expectations of United Nations. Women forces are very important and high in demand as most of the victims in wearing states are women, making it imperative that the women be able to work closely with other women. The French ambassador also congratulated Cambodia for being one of the leading countries in the world for combating the control and the spread of COVID-19 and further congratulated Lieutenant General Hun Manet on his recent reward from the Royal Government of Cambodia for his past contributions in the fight against COVID-19. Going forward, the two sides expressed their willingness and interest in stepping up efforts to boost military cooperation between the two countries, especially in considering building direct relations between the two countries' armies which can be an important part of strengthening relations between the two countries. The two sides also exchanged views on the global and regional issues, noting the importance and necessary in peace, stability and development for all. Anthony Ellis, EAC News.